Hello, and welcome back to Zack and Wiki. Last time, we got our revenge, and this time, we get to start on my favorite area. Barbarossa's Castle. Ooh, four levels. So yeah, this area just has some of the most creative levels in the entire game, I think. Uh... So, you know, let's start off with the one that perhaps I've replayed the least. Still a very cool level, but, like, the Painted Secret is really awesome, so, I don't know. Save the best for last. This is a good level, though. Yeah, I just really love this whole area. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Good atmosphere. Alright, zoom out. We've got some very beautiful textures. Oh. Apparently that's a timed cutscene then. So yeah, eventually the moon gets covered with clouds. Blinks like a strobe light for some reason. Has a delayed reaction on the windows for some reason. And then those guys come back to life. How can you see them? Are you using that magical supervision again? Yeah, that actually was a good hint to point out. Yeah, Wiki cannot do anything to those guys. Let's stand here. Okay then. So yeah, I don't remember what these are called, but they are kind of creepy and we're going to be seeing them a lot. Okay, first thing. What? Okay. Uh, okay then. Alright. First thing, really, come down here, and they make you turn it to the middle and wait, and then turn it to the right, because why not? And yeah, now that gear is moving in the other direction, meaning we can ride it. Also means we're stuck up here. Uh, I don't trust that the moon's going to last long enough. Hmm. Yeah, there it goes. It might have lasted, but eh. Why tempt fate? Yeah, and you also can see when there's no moonlight, there's this weird key showing up there. That's sort of a theme that they use a lot, is kind of stuff that just shows up and looks sort of ghostly, and only shows up at certain times. Okay, as quickly as we picked up the creepy human skull, let us drop the creepy human skull. I assume human. Uh, never mind. Can I get past? Yep. Climb up here. We can get a sparkly thing, but we can do that later. Um. Break more pottery. Ooh. Link would be so proud. Ooh. Bionic Commando. Alright. Now. Let's punch it. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> it's a pun. Nice. Excuse me? 
Excuse me. <laughs> oh. Uh. And how exactly did he survive that? I can't tell if there's a hole still there or not. Okay. Well. Hopefully Johnny's alright. Kind of sure isn't right though. He was being a jerk. Alright. And once again, kind of like with the Keeper of the Ice thing, he was showing us sort of not just what the enemy can do, but also how to beat it. Next thing! Ring the bell. I don't know if you can do that and have Johnny fall out still. Probably not. You probably actually have to trigger that cutscene. But that is truly creepy on many levels. I don't think ringing it again does anything, but I wouldn't put it past them to uh, make that a special treasure chest. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm not pushing my luck. I have no desire to have to repeat this level. Yeah, luckily if you're not like right next to them, they don't see you at all and they don't care. Okay then, first of all, holy cow. All right, a lot of frame rate drops there. <sighs> Whoa, apparently the game does not like that moonlighting, or that moonlight effect. It slowed way down. Mm, don't have enough time to get the other one. So yeah, what we've got here is the moonstone. The moonstone creates moonlight. And that's actually really just very cool. And yeah, since these guys just need moonlight to stay um, and everything, or stay uh, in skull form. Just gotta drop them in here, and they're all taken care of. <laughs> creepy skull. Even the game thinks it's creepy. Gotta love those, uh, like, a totally realistic hole on the bottom and everything, and just those, those wonderful 480p textures and everything. Anyway. Now we can come over here, wait for the moon to go away. Okay, that's just truly horrifying. And I don't think it stops as long as you're looking at it. Something about that just feels cool, snatching it up when it looks like it's just not really there. Anyway. Open a door. Climb the ladder. Itemize the frog. Listen to the music overlap in a weird way. Drop the frog in there. And blow it up. Boom. Now you might think, oh no, we're trapped. But no, we're not. That is a breath of fresh air after levels where you have to, like, climb all the way down or something. Just slide. Pretty cool. So yeah, I like that level. And my goodness, it's short. Is it really only just about... Ten minutes in? Well, I guess I get to show off the next level too. Man, that was a short level. 
Why do they keep getting harder to pronounce? Uh, Einsamkeit belt. Shinier than you remember it. Whatever. Really, dude, your belt is a necessary part of your body. Well, I guess I would rather have him show back up with clothes on. And, you know, just not have his pants fall down the second he rematerializes or whatever. Yeah! Aw, uh, same picture. Glamorous pirate hotshot. Hey, who are you calling a hotshot? Alright, anyway, that was a lot shorter than I expected it to be. So, yeah, I guess we get to do another level. Do the stuff with Maddie first, and I'll save the treasure pieces till the end of the episode. Uh-oh. Oh, oh well. What? Dude, that thing clearly said five. Rip off. Cutscene. Why on earth would I want a spider? Don't remind me of that level. Barbaros Park Case. Well, maybe I'm just mining this area too much. Um, I don't know. Go to the furthest flung corner of the map. Ooh, that must have cost a lot. Oh, Swellsaurus Jr. Anyway, all right. That's that done then, let's move on. Let's see, only three levels left till we get to the boss. Ooh, both of those are good. Uh, this is probably the shorter of the two. So let's just go for that. So this is one of my all time favorite levels. The concept is just so cool. I don't know, I'll just... I'll wait, I'll let you see. So it's very small. So we've got... this guy, who's holding a key. We've got that treasure piece. We've got this guy. Now if I was going for... The special treasures, I'd have to, like, put all the treasure pieces there, but no. I'm not, so... I can't, anyway. Cool. Alright, this is where this level gets really fun. Ever wished that you could interact with stuff, say, inside a painting? Well... That is just so cool. Oh, that never gets old. Yeah, that's the big thing. Oh, That's the big thing with this level, is that you can interact with stuff inside of the paintings. So, for instance, we can do this. And the moonlight even interacts with the stuff inside of the paintings. I think the only way I could have gotten higher points for that would have been if I had already swapped out the paintings. But this is cool to see. Because as you pull it off, it turns back into a, uh, back into a ghost. But if we put this guy here, What, no clink? Oh, well that's good. It didn't dock me any points. But yeah, no clink. 
It's a metal key. It should make some kind of clinking sound. Oh well. Love the music in this place, too. Very creepy. Or just, I don't know. It's organ music. It fits the tone very nice. Hey! Him, I recognize. How you doing, Mega Man? That time. I won't feel right unless I clean off all this dust. You can just clean off the stuff on the center, but then you don't get a chance to clean off the stuff on the outer edges anymore. Come on. Okay. Now I can clean the stuff on the inside. I wonder who signed it. Alright, that's enough for the broom, for the moment. Um, we now need the key. Come back up here. Oh, this just never gets old. It just looks so cool. Alright, um, let's see, we need, this will be the most useful thing. Even using them as portals, it's just so neat. I mean, I'm sorry, I know I must sound like a broken record, but it's just, I just, I love that for some reason. Anyway, flip the handle of the broom over. If you try and poke that thing normally, Zach will cry out in pain because he'll hit thorns, but if you use the broom... That happens. And then we have to interact with this jerk. What happens if you poke him? Well, at least now I've earned what he's about to do, because he'll do this anyway. Yeah, he always does that. Big meanie. So... Let's blind him. And suddenly we turn the broom into a mop. And now it's a paintbrush. Why on earth would I want to skip that cutscene? Anyway... He can't stop us if he can't see us. <laughs> this toupee falls off. Oof. Yeah, you can see all the ink coming out of his eyes. Sorry, man. Sort of. Now, in case you're wondering... Ooh. In case you're wondering, how do we get down? Well... This is also just so cool. Oh. Yeah, and you leave whatever item you're holding up there, apparently. At least if it's, a, if it's that big. No, don't grab the edge of the painting. Now we grab this thing. I don't think having plumbing made out of gold sounds like a very good idea, but what do I know? Alright, this face might look familiar to you. Remember that big fish back from the Fountain Guardian? Well, if we try and grab that right now, this big fish comes out and chomps us. So, let's not do that. Let's instead do this. Down goes the water. Why, thank you. 
So yeah, if you put it up higher, it will um, it won't work. But this works. And now we can grab that. Here's the thing, though. If you remember from a moment ago, falling through that makes us drop our items. So we have to do this. And down it goes. Yeah, I'm sure it shows. I've replayed these levels a lot over the years. Alright, grab this. Put it where it belongs. Grab the other one that we knocked down. You just kind of got to flick the Wii Remote forward and then flick it back in order to reach into paintings and stuff. Alright. And that is that level. Just put that down and... It feels kind of weird that the music didn't stop there. I mean, it stops now. I don't know. And what do we get this time? Cool. Grawl Anchor. See, that's nice and simple to pronounce. Now that's a shoulder, isn't it? Yeah. Fourteen parts. We are getting closer and closer. Nice. All right, two levels and it's not even a long episode. Sweet. It'll be a bit longer once we finish all this stuff, but oh well. All right, start off with the parts that we got. Okay. Um, Drat, what did we get? The belt. Ah, you found that belt in the Bell Tower of Requiem in my castle. The Einsemkite, Einsemkite belt is filled with my loneliness. It can fill the air with the sounds of the biggest party you've ever heard, so you never have to feel lonely. I would think that you might feel even more lonely when you realize nobody's there, but... Eh. That's the Grohl Anchor you found with the Painted Secret. All of the re all the resentment felt for me is collected into that one anchor. It can take those feelings down with it to the depths of the ocean. I will say this, the descriptions for all of the different parts are very, very interesting. Any obvious statements? Eh, that's okay. Alright. What have you got for me, Maddie? What was at the furthest corner of the map? Edge of the world. That's not bad. Maybe that's a cutscene? I don't know. There we go. Rising pirate hotshot. Again, who are you calling a hotshot? Alright. Um, do the bottom left corner now. Still at 7,000. Wow. Far cry from the less than 500 I had at the end of part one. Alright. And I've just got to show off. Uh, yeah, i got to show off Mega Man. 
Let's see. Date, December 1987. Mega Man had the ability to absorb the powers of robot enemies and has secured a place in the hearts of many fans. That's pretty cool. Little 8-bit thing in 3D and... That's a good pose. I approve. Alright. Well. Still, that's a pretty decent length episode and two... Level's done. If they're all that short, this will go pretty quickly. Alright. And the next episode... Drat, both of those are good, too. Uh, in the next episode, we'll do one or both of those. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time.